Hi, I'm David Carbon, Vice President of Lexco Cable. Today's topic is cable railing turnbuckles. We're going to break that into two categories. One is what kind of cable rail turnbuckles might you use with a wood post? And then second, we'll tackle what kind of cable railing turnbuckles might you use with a metal post? Let's begin with the wood post option. Okay, we're going to look at the wood post cable railing turnbuckles first. So I want to show you a couple versions. In the middle is a deck toggle turnbuckle. And at this end is the deck toggle. It has two wood screws that are mounting it to your wood post. And because it's mounting it here on the uh, face of the post, you can consider this a surface mounting turnbuckle. So this surface is your bearing point. What's uh, great about a surface mount turnbuckle is that you may have another railing that is on the opposite side of your post. By using surface mount, it helps you avoid the intersection that is, uh, would be an undesired intersection of fasteners in the post, both trying to terminate in the same spot. So the face-to-face -face turnbuckle, surface-to-surface -surface is clean. So this is the deck toggle turnbuckle and it is being represented with wood screws. The next two turnbuckles I'm gonna show you are uh, the same concept executed two ways. I say the same concept because there is a hanger bolt. Um, a hanger bolt means that it has machine threads on one side and on the opposite side, it has lag, meaning wood screw threads. In this top example, this is called an adjust a body with hanger bolt. Here you can just see in between the body and the wood, you'll see the machine threads. And then what you don't see is inside the post, that is where the lag wood screw threads are on that hanger bolt. This turnbuckle is very compact and sleek. The secret is the ferrule. Inside this body, the cable is being terminated to a ferrule. And that ferrule is sitting just on the inside here. And that ferrule is a, is a short ferrule and it gets machine swaged with a hydraulic swager. And it hides right inside here. And then there is a wrench flat here and that allows you to adjust the, adjust the body on the hanger bolt. The uh, second variation of a hanger bolt on a turnbuckle is down here at the bottom and this variation is a classic it's a classic in the sense that it was born from sailboat lifeline uh, turnbuckle assemblies you have here you have a threaded terminal so this threaded terminal is what the cable is terminating into and then you have machine threads. And then you have a turnbuckle body. And then you have the hanger bolt that I mentioned. Here you have the machined threads. And then inside the post are the lag wood screw threads. So that is an overview of the turnbuckles for cable railings if you've got wood posts. Next, we'll go over the other options if your post is not wood. 
The display that I have in front of me was made for my showroom and I had it made out of angle iron. Uh, the main reason for that was so that the ends of the turnbuckles could be observed. In a real life cable railing install, you are most likely going to use um, a tube or, or a post and the, and the post could be square, uh, could be round, and then some cable railings using metal posts might use flat bar. So um, just keep that in mind as you're uh, observing the fitting on how they might interact with your particular end post choice. So in this video, we're talking about cable railing turnbuckles. And by turnbuckle, I mean that it is an adjustable fitting. So I'm gonna show you a threaded terminal. A threaded terminal is not quite a full-on turnbuckle, but it's adjustable, so let's start there. And down here, you'll see this threaded terminal is being fastened at the end with simply a, a jam nut and then an acorn nut. Now that is the most simple variety that you're gonna get in an adjustable cable railing fitting. So the next uh, version, which I would say like a second generation of a threaded terminal for the end termination is instead of using a jam and acorn, it uses a receiver. Here's a, an example of that at the top. You can see you've got your threaded terminal and it's not going into a nut, it's going into a receiver. So the receiver is tapped, it's got internal threads, and the receiver head has an Allen head slot so that you can use an Allen wrench and turn your receiver and that takes up your turnbuckle. So if you don't want an acorn nut, this is more elegant. Now there is such a thing as a version of the uh, receiver where you do not have to see as much threaded terminal and a, um, an example of that is down here. Now, the, the, way you, the way that that's pulled off is that inside this receiver is a small threaded stud called an Invisaware stud. And it's been machine swaged. So it's been hydraulically swaged. And that allows it to fit in a very small envelope but it's the same concept where you've got a stud mating with a receiver to provide your um, assembly's take up. So I'm gonna move on to this terminator turnbuckle. In this example, the body has been swaged directly to the cable. In here, this is a bolt. And so you would turn the bolt like you do a receiver head with an Allen wrench, and that provides um, take up as well. Uh, so it's a close cousin to the receiver that we spoke about. Um, so next, uh, I'll show you a button turnbuckle. Here is a smooth line button turnbuckle. Here is a deco button turnbuckle. In these uh, turnbuckles, you've got a threaded terminal, and then here you've got a threaded rod, and then he, at the end, you've got a button at the bearing point. Now in this version, it does look different, and that's because this is a smooth line. In the smooth line, there is not a threaded terminal in this point. Instead, you have an internal ferrule that is swaged to provide a, um, a more aesthetically minimalistic look. Another example of a turnbuckle is a jaw turnbuckle. Here's a classic jaw turnbuckle. In this classic jaw turnbuckle, you've got threaded terminal, turnbuckle body, and then you have a threaded rod. And the threaded rod has a T at the end. That T provides a bearing point for this clevis that makes up the jaw, and the jaw has a clevis pin. So a common way to attach 
a jaw to your post is with a tab. So think of this uh, piece of the angle iron as a tab. There is another type of uh, jaw turnbuckle. Uh, for example, you could get it in a smooth line. The smooth line being the version with the fitting swaged inside. And then the other uh, version of a smooth line jaw turnbuckle is an adjust a body, an, uh, specifically an adjust a jaw turnbuckle. On the other side of this display, you will find the adjust a jaw turnbuckle. Here's the adjust a jaw turnbuckle. Inside, you have a barrel that has been machine swaged. You've got machine thread, and then you've got a jaw. So that is an overview of most of the cable railing turnbuckles that you would find with metal posts for your cable railing application. Obviously, cable railings are popular for staircases. On staircases, you've got the slope of the staircase. So to tackle that angle, you may need to consider your turnbuckle. Um, the top examples on this display utilize a ball at the end. So here you've got a deco turnbuckle with a ball, classic turnbuckle with ball, smooth line turnbuckle with ball. Here you have threaded terminal with ball. At the bottom of the display is the deck toggle. And this deck toggle is being demonstrated with machine thread. So you would need to tap your metal post so that you could use metal fasteners to mount your deck toggle. One question is, can you use these turnbuckles from a staircase also on a level run? And the answer is, hell yes you can. This ball works just as good on level runs as it does on the staircase. Same thing with this deck toggle. It will articulate to a level position. And that is an example of some staircase turnbuckles. While we're on the subject of cable railing turnbuckles, I also want to mention that they can be used in rigging applications such as marine rigging. In marine rigging applications, you may need a larger diameter than you would in a cable railing. So here's an example of a jaw turnbuckle for a rigging application. It's just like the cable railing version, only larger. And this will hold to the cable's brake strength on the rigging model. Now, here you've got the threaded terminal that will be swaged to the cable. If you do need a marine turnbuckle, you may need a jaw-to-jaw -jaw turnbuckle. And you can also find that on our website. This is a toggle jaw. You can toggle to the sides. This is a toggle jaw, toggle jaw, marine turnbuckle. We also do all kinds of rigging projects that are industrial or architectural in nature. It could be um, a trellis, it could be cross bracing. So we are able to provide all kinds of heavy duty turnbuckles. In this example, I've got a threaded terminal and then I've got a jaw. And this is actually an open body. So we do all kinds of custom cable railing, architectural turnbuckle applications. Don't hesitate to reach out if there's something that you haven't seen in this video today. Uh, we look forward to speaking to you. 
And from everyone at Lexco, thanks for watching.